Welcome to Golden Software's demonstration video for Digger 5 Part 4. In this demonstration, I will be covering the topic of importing data with a projection and converting the projection. I will first import some data in the original projection. I will go to File, Import. Select the Esri shape file goldenroads.shp located in the samples directory. Select the shape file and click Open. The import shape file will display the roads in and around Golden, Colorado in blue. Now I will import some data points that are in a UTM coordinate system. Go to File, Import. Select the data file and click Open. Select the Import Settings Create Post Map option to display the XY points as a post map in Digger. Verify that the field for the X and Y coordinates are specified correctly. The X coordinate to field 1 and the Y coordinate to field 2. Click the Import button to import this point data. In the Assign Coordinate System dialog, set the coordinate space type to projected coordinates. Then specify the current projection of the data file. Navigate to Predefined, Projected Systems, UTM, WGS84, WGS84, and select WGS84 UTM Zone 13N. Once you have selected the appropriate coordinate system for your data, Click OK to import the data. The data points are imported on top of the Golden Roads vector file. Now that I have both the shape file and data points imported in the correct coordinate systems, I can change the projection to view the imported data with the state plane coordinate system. Go to Map, Change Projection. In the Assign Coordinate System dialog box, navigate to and select the coordinate system that you want to use. For this example, I will change the coordinate system to State Plane 1983, Colorado Central, feet. Select the appropriate coordinate system that you would like to use. If you would like to customize the coordinate system that you have selected, you can click the Modify button. Here you can change the projection and datum parameters for the selected coordinate system. Click OK to save any changes in the Define Coordinate System dialog. The edited coordinate system will be saved under the custom heading in the Assign Coordinate System dialog. Click OK in the Assign Coordinate System dialog to change the projection using the new customized coordinate system. The display of all the objects in your Digger project will be displayed using the new coordinate system. In this example, you can see that changing the projection of the data from a latitude-longitude coordinate system to a state plane coordinate system elongates the data in the north-south direction, creating a narrower map. When you update the coordinate system of a map in Digger, you will see the updated coordinates in the status bar at the bottom of the Digger window when your mouse is hovered over the map. Using this feature, you can display your data using one of the many coordinate systems that are available in Digger 5, or you can create a custom coordinate system for your project. This concludes my demonstration of converting the projection and datum of a Digger project in Digger 5.